In UniGraphics, a set of 256 layers is defined when a new file is created. These layers are numbered and not named, and the labels for these layers, which is the numbering system, cannot be changed. The system does provide for the definition of categories. A category is a named group of layers. By grouping layers into categories, the user is easily able to select, edit, and display related groups of entities. The Layer Settings dialog box can be found by going to Format, Layer Settings, or by pressing Ctrl-L on your keyboard. The Work Layer is the layer that is currently set to active. This means that when you create an object, it is automatically placed into the currently selected Work Layer. The default Work Layer is Layer 1 and will remain so until changed. To specify the Work Layer, you can either enter the number of the layer into the work box or click on the layer in the layer status box and select the option make work. If only layer 1 is visible in the layer status box, you can make additional layers visible by using the drop down arrow towards the bottom and selecting either all layers which will display layers 1 through 256, layers with objects which will display only those layers containing previously created entities, or all selectable layers, which will display all layers that have been specified as selectable. The control settings and status options for layers are selectable, visible only, and invisible. Selectable means that the entities assigned to this layer are displayed on screen and may be selected for editing purposes. Visible only means that the entities are assigned, assigned to this layer are displayed on screen but cannot be selected. Invisible means that the entities assigned to this layer will not be displayed and are therefore not selectable. To change the status of a layer, simply select its number from the list or use Shift and Control to select a range of layers and then choose one of the buttons, either Selectable, Visible Only, Invisible, or Make Work. The work layer will automatically become selectable. To edit or assign categories, you can either select Edit Categories from the Layer Setting dialog box or go to Format Layer Category. You can then either select the category you wish to edit or type in the name of a new category you wish to create in the category box. Category names must all be capitalized. Unigraphics will capitalize for you if you use lowercase letters. Also, you cannot have blank space or special characters except for periods, hyphens, pound signs, right slashes, and underscores. Numbers are allowed. The maximum length of a category name is 30 characters. Once you've chosen the category to edit, select the Create Edit button in the dialog box. You can then specify the layer numbers you wish to be included in the category by either entering the range of layers into the range or category box and pressing enter or by selecting the layer numbers from the layers list and selecting add or by double clicking on the layer number. Select remove to remove a selected layer from the category. You can also hold down the shift button on your keyboard to choose a range of layers or hold down the control button to pick and select individual layers. Also, be aware that you can assign layers to more than one category. Once you have chosen your selected layers, click OK to create the category. You can choose Back to go back to the Layer Category dialog box without saving changes or Cancel to exit the command altogether. After the categories have been created, you can go to the Layer setting Settings dialog box and select the option Show Category Names at the bottom of the box. This way all of the categories that each layer belongs to will be listed within the Layer Description box. You can also choose to display the number of objects on the layer by checking the box labeled Show Object Count at the bottom. Note that suppressed objects are not accounted for in the layer listing and are not included as part of the object count. You can place objects from any layer or category into another layer or category by either moving or copying them. This can be helpful if you create many objects on one work layer 
and then want to split them up into organized categories or sets of layers. To move an object from one layer or category to another, go to Format, Move to Layer. Then simply select the objects on screen and click the green check mark or click with your middle mouse button. Now you can either enter the layer or category you want to move the object to, select the category from the category list, or select the layer from the layer list. Also note that you can filter the category list by typing a name into the category filter and following it with a star. This will return all categories whose name contains the given string. To select different objects and start the command again, you can select the option Select New Objects at the bottom of the box. Also, instead of moving, you can choose to copy an object from one layer to another by going to Format, Copy to Layer. This option works basically the same as Move to Layer, except that the object will remain in the original layer and a copy will be made in the second layer.